what's going on? This is Tatsu. Music's on the menu. Tonight we're making nachos. Let's go check it out. Hey, what's going on? So, music's on the menu. We got E Swift from what's the happening? Alcoholics. What's up, everybody? What's happening? Yo, man, welcome to Thanks Austin. Thanks for having me, yeah, man. man. For sure, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Love fan, it. Big fan. Oh, man, I appreciate yeah. it. So, uh, tonight uh, we hooked up Kyle. And, okay. Uh, he made the alcoholic nacho. Alcoholic nacho. Yeah. So nice. So it's got some bullet whiskey on it. Okay. It's got a little bit of Mickey. Okay. You know, he braised it up. Mm -hmm. You know, and just smoked the nachos and uh, it's yeah, man. The the the, the alcoholic nacho. That's so, right. So does it get you drunk? Yeah, it's pretty strong. <laughs> I have to taste just this. Just for you. Man. Just for I have you. to taste this. This is like a masterpiece right here. There you go. It's like a. A volcano just erupted with a bunch <laughs> of liquid substances That's that right. would inebriate. Hmm. You kidding me, dude? Yeah, man. It's, he did a great job, man. That's bomb right there. He, yeah, it's Kyle. Kyle, man. Kyle, look, I'm going to tell you. It's like having a smoky beer, nacho. It's so many flavors in there, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> a lot of layers, a lot of layers. A lot of, a lot of layers, layers, that's of the key. Flavor. Yeah. yeah, it's got sweet, it's got a little bit of uh, uh, umami. Oh man, but the, the meat avocado. is so it's so tender though. Meat's it's like you tender, almost forget yeah. that it's meat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like you're just like, oh, it's like heavy. That was beans. <laughs> and, oh, is it beans? No, no beans. Oh, no beans. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey man. If y'all want to get drunk, eat some nachos. That's the best way ever. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, man. Something mm. wash it down for you. Look, you can't have some nachos without nice cold beer. And since from the liquor crew, alcoholics, what a better way to accommodate a nice inebriating plate of nachos than with friends. Mm. Perfect. Ah, that yeah. was the best. This is my kind of meal, man. Like I grew up in the Midwest, okay. growing up, and everybody spent all day in the backyard smoking meat and barbecuing. And, okay. You yeah. know, so um, it always reminds me of home. Okay. But hey, it's hard to say. I hate to say it, Mama. It's a little, a little better than home, but. It's got the same vibe, but not the same. It's so, different. so E, where, where, uh, where you stay now? Like, where? I'm actually in Las Vegas. In Vegas. Yes, man. Okay. All right. You know, prayers to everybody in Las Vegas. Um, you know that okay. tragedy just happened. Uh, yeah. yeah, I was yeah. up. I was there Crazy. the day before it happened. I was at the same hotel, man. Oh, so, same hotel? Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah. And I just had to go back there a couple of days ago. Wow. Yeah, man. But yeah, that's intense. Anyway, yeah, man. Las Vegas, you know, via Los Angeles, via the Midwest, you know. I, I grew up like my younger years in um, Ohio, Toledo, Ohio. Moved to um, Los Angeles at the end of my high school years. Okay. And then I've been in Vegas like 10 years now. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, you guys still touring here? Yeah. There? Yeah. yeah, we're touring. We just did a, uh, we did a, a West Coast run. Um, it's called the uh, Red Cup Tour. You know, we just went out there and did some real intimate venues and, you know, just started playing some new music for the fans. And um, it was great. Yeah, we did like maybe like 15, 16 dates. Okay. Yeah, in the nice. studio right now, working on new music. Um, yeah. Doing this album with the lick, with the uh, Beat Nuts. It's oh, lick with Nuts? nuts. Nice. Yeah, it's Lick Nuts Project. <laughs> lick Nuts Project. Lick Nuts. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, a uh, lot of good things going on. Yeah, there. yeah. Yeah, I can't explain. So, uh, as far as the beats, is, you guys use different producers. Do you make you make beats yourself too? I am the main guy on the, all the alcoholic beats. Even, okay. And, and we, but we work with we work with uh, several people like uh, Pharrell Williams, um, DJ Scratch. We've done stuff with Diamond D. Nice. Mad Mad Lib, of course. That's our. Yeah. You know, he comes from our camp. Um, like Easy Mo B. Nice. You know, we worked outside of our camp a little bit, but I'm like the main guy. Yeah. We yeah. uh we we actually interviewed uh, Young Guru yesterday. Is that right? Yeah, I was yeah. just with Young Guru. That's my guy, man. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. You guys saw each other earlier. Yeah, nice. yeah. That's my Good. boy, man. Yeah, Him yeah, and yeah. Just Blaze. Uh, peace to everybody. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, man. It's cool to have a a, a network of friends, like really friends, like mm -hmm. like that. That 
are that talented, man. Yeah. You know, if no, I got yeah. if I have any questions about anything, yeah, I don't have to go on the internet and just search. I just call Guru up like, hey man, how you do this and how you get this sound like this? you know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's cool to have a network yeah, of friends like that. Stuff. Yeah, dope. So in the studio, what's your favorite uh, what's your weapon of choice? <laughs> My weapon of choice right now is um Ableton Live right now. Okay. With push. Yeah, with put with push. But I, I I've just started really getting into push. Like, you know, I've been using um NPCs and yeah. you know, I got an NPC touch. That's fun, you know. So I try to get my hands on everything mm -hmm. just because sometimes I wanna work on a sometimes I'll bust out my ASR ten. You oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Just because I want that it just has a different vibe to it, you know. Clicky noise too. Yeah. <laughs> and the swing is different. Yeah, like, yeah. It just depends, you know. But nice. I, I try to use everything. You know? Nice, nice. Yeah, man. So, about making music, uh, how did you get started? I started, my dad was a big, like, um, collector of vinyl. He had a lot of vinyl. He would play, he, he DJed, um, he played the trumpet, and he was just really into music. So I was always around it, you know what I mean? So, um, when I moved up from, um, I moved from Ohio to uh, Los Angeles, mm -hmm. I got into, uh, the DJ scene, yeah, you know, just start DJing house yeah. parties. Oh, so you were DJ first, and then yeah, okay. I was a DJ, okay. and that kind of progressed into me becoming a producer. Because I, 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 there was cats like Marley Mall, and dudes like that that I was listening. Every time I heard one of their beats, I'd be like, "Oh, this is so banging!" I, like I would love to make music like this. And I knew it was in the, you know, in, in, in the realm of reality because I, you know, I was a technical guy. I was DJing. I knew how to use drum machine. And then I started hanging around cats like DJ Pooh and King T and all them, and I really got seasoned in the studio. In the studio, so um, yeah, man. This is uh, in the '80s. In, this is, in this West was Coast. this was in the '80s, like okay. early '90s. Early '90s. When I really started getting around like West Coast rappers, yeah. you know, and because I, I started DJing for King T, and that took me to a whole other world. Yeah. You know, I'm meeting the Ice Cube and. Doing stuff for for all those yeah. kind of Ice dudes. Cube's in town. To, uh, yeah, ACL, I know, right? man. He's out here. Yeah. yeah, I just saw him not too long ago out in Vegas. But um, yeah. yeah. Oh, R.I.P. Crazy Tunes too, man. <laughs> I had to say that too. 